If you have been programming for a while, you know the worst thing that can happen to you is that one little bug in your code that you can't find. It is so frustrating and time consuming and it can really demotivate you from coding. So today I'm going to show you how to find bugs and security issues in your Java code using a tool called PVS Studio Analyzer. It can be installed really simply in your IntelliJ IDEA IDE and it is really simple to use. PVS Studio is a tool for detecting bugs and security weaknesses in the source code of programs written in C, C++, C Sharp and Java. But I will focus on Java today. It works on Windows, Mac and Linux, so you don't have to worry about that. I already set it up in my IntelliJ IDEA and now I'll dive into some code. I prepared here only four small pieces of code, but when you think about it and doing a big really big project these small parts of code that nobody actually cares about like initializing variables or the java ternary operator or if statements can really make a difference if you have hundreds and thousands of them and that's why i chose to show only these but they can find this tool can find a lot a lot more errors Okay, I'll run the program and show you that it it works. It it doesn't have any bugs that break the code. So let's just wait for it a bit. And as you can see here, it prints false and it prints 10, which we decided to do here. But now the problem is when we analyze it with this static code analyzer, it actually points out some errors. So the way you do that is first you obviously install this i'll show the link to their documentation in the description it's really simple to install it's basically just a plugin for your intellij idea and you go here to analyze pvs studio and we can check current file and when it loads up you can see the errors here so the first one over here is the expression is here is always true and when you click here it actually goes to this line and highlights it for you so that is really neat but the error is actually here why is it always true because we hard coded it to true and now imagine if you have a code that has thousands and ten thousands of line and you hard code something and then you have to change it You'll have to go over each and every single one of those and change it by hand. That's why hard coding is, is generally not a good idea. The second error it points out is this operator. So when I click here, it actually goes to this line and highlights the error for me. And it says, this operator, regardless of its conditional expression, always return one and the same value 10. That's because I, for purposes of this video just hard coded it to 10 but maybe you were using this operator and you copy and paste it's a common thing to do in programming so you copy you paste it somewhere else and you decide to change this variable to here there or something like that and you change the first value or the second value but you forgot to change one value and both of these remain the same and now your ternary operator doesn't work because you always return the let's delete this. You always return the same value 10. And if, if you have a big project and you don't really care, you've written the ternary operator multiple times and you just ignore it, it can lead to some troubles because the as you can see when I run the code, there are no errors, as you can see. And there can be some logical mistakes in your code if you forget to do this. Now, the next error is there are identical sub-expressions and it shows where and what. So, as you can see here, we actually check the... We have a string, hello, and we actually check if it equals hello or if it doesn't equal hello. And let's say that we are a programmer and you write this once and you want to check if it equals, I don't know, hi. But instead of writing it because you are lazy, you just decide to copy this and you forgot to change it and it remains hello. 
and again it leads to logical errors in your code but when you run the code it doesn't show any errors and it's a big problem because we usually copy and paste code so you should keep in mind of that and this analyzer points it out to you and the last error i'm about to show in my code is actually when you decide to as you can see here the 0.5 liter of double type is compared to a value of type int and you should really be careful when comparing ints and doubles or basically any two different types when you run the code again it doesn't show any errors and it's that is the basically the point of statical code analysis so you can find those small errors every day instead instead of finding all of the errors one day before you are going to launch your product. The next errors I'm about to show you are from the company itself. They use their tool to find bugs in open source projects. As you can see here, the V6001 is the there are identical sub-expressions, which I showed you in my code. They have actually found this bug in IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition, which I'm currently using and they have found it multiple times, also in some other programs written in Java. So as I can see here, the thing I showed is not a useless thing that I did, but is actually used in, in big companies and big lines of code. As you can see here, the this expression is equal to this expression, and it can cause errors and logical errors inside your code. And as the title says, you can read it here, they actually perform static code analysis on open source projects of some really, really big companies. As you can see here, uh, we can click this, Microsoft projects. So these are the all Microsoft projects they did. As you can see here, the list is really big. They actually performed uh, static code analysis on Microsoft PowerShell, Microsoft Bot Builder, you can click these links, the link will be in the description, and actually read why and how this is important and what bugs they actually found. And they they did some on game development and other other big major IT sections, graphic, music software, messengers, as you can see here, telegram analysis. This is actually really interesting. You can read the articles here. And since then, the tool has been upgraded and it's actually really useful. I've used it in some of my projects to, f projects to find some bugs. It can be used for C, C++, C Sharp and Java. And you can find all the necessary links down in the description if you want to download this and use it in your own projects, which I highly recommend because it will make your life easier. You can find the list of all the errors in here, so you go to Analyze, PVS Studio and Settings and go to Warnings. As you can see, it's quite a long list. You can find all the errors here. Maybe check if you can analyze some of your projects. And as always, let me know if you need some help down in the comments. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.